Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please do stick around. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing another very quick and easy design. This one right here, it says, I will peck you and it has a rooster. So again, just one of those kind of funny animal evergreen designs that can sell year round. I did use several different effects on this, but again, it was very simple and very quick and easy to do. If you would like to learn how to do this, please stick around. So right now I am on Canva's homepage. This is where we're gonna go ahead and start. I am gonna go to the top right hand corner where it says create a design. I'm gonna click that and then come down to the bottom where it says custom size. I'm gonna be designing on 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. That is the standard size that I use when I'm creating uh, t-shirt designs. And of course that size can vary depending on what else I may be designing for, but just for basic t-shirts, I'll tend to use 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. And I also tend to optimize my designs for black because it is shown that black is the number one selling t-shirt color and darker t-shirts do sell better typically than lighter t-shirts. Of course, it depends on your design, but as a general rule, um, this would of course change if I was doing different products. Mugs do sell better on white, stickers, obviously white backgrounds, but it just depends what it is that you happen to be designing for. So right now I'm gonna be doing a nice evergreen design, another animal design, funny, Funny animals sell you around, so that is always a good option if you're looking to start making some designs is, you know, to stick with some good evergreens. So this one, nice and funny, it is going to be a little bit of a rooster design. I have seen lots of chicken rooster designs for whatever reason, so let's go ahead. We're gonna select an element. So at the left-hand side, there's a bunch of tabs here. We're gonna go to the tab that says elements. And then from here, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little search for rooster. And I'm gonna go ahead and use photos. Again, you can use photos, you can use graphics, whatever you like. And I am just looking for kind of an angry rooster face, um, a nice close-up of a rooster face. And so there's lots of fun roosters. Here's a nice close-up of a face. I'm looking for something a little bit more angry. And boom, that one, that one comes to mind right there. I like that nice little angry rooster face. So that's probably the one I'm gonna go with. But again, you can search and you can do a lot of searching. Um, I will usually spend a good long time looking through the various elements and photos and graphics and all of that to sort of select what it is that I like. For this video, I've already done that. And so I selected this, um, this photo a while ago. But don't be afraid to look through everything. Sometimes you'll find some really good stuff a little bit farther down. Don't always just pick something that's at the top because that's probably what other people did as well. So so, you know, be sure to familiarize yourself with all the different, um, you know, options that you have. And when it comes to photos and when it comes to elements, there really are a ton ton on Canva that you can use. I mean, just about anything that you can think of, you can do a search for and find. And sometimes the hardest part is just knowing what to search for or what search terms are out there. So anyways, that was my caveat there. So here is my rooster. And what I'm gonna do with my rooster is I am going to do a little bit of a background removal first, and then we're gonna do a little photo effect, and then we're gonna do another background removal. And so there's gonna be a few different steps here. Um, you can, by the way, I'm gonna use a paint effects, and you can use paint effects first and then do background removal. I sometimes like to do the background removal first, even though the photo effects will still give me a background because I think that it gives me a little bit of a cleaner background removal the second time. But let's just see. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna remove the background. I just like to be safer. It's, it's fast and it's easy, so I'm just gonna do it this way. Um, so I'm gonna get a nice clean background removal here. One sec. There we go, perfect, okay. So I'm gonna hit apply. And then what we're gonna be doing is we are gonna be using some other effects here. So as I scroll down, and by the way, I am on the classic editor. So um, just so that you're aware, so there is a new one out and there is an older version of the, the, the photo editor. So you may be on the newer version. And so this is what the newer version will look like. And so if you see something like this, and you're wondering why yours looks different than mine, it is because I was using the classic version. Um, 
And so to do that, if you want to use what I am using, you would just scroll down. There's a little blue tab here that says you're using the new photo editor to use the old experience, click here. And so that is what I have done. And I put revert to the old editor. And so that is what I am using. Um, Canva does frequently change the layout and the way things look. So sometimes if you're watching an older video and you're wondering why your page doesn't look like mine, that is why. And so I know it can be a little tough to keep up where everything is, um, but that was just my caveat there. So back to edit image, I am on the classic version. And the classic version has um, some different features that I liked and one of them said paint effects. And so I'm gonna go ahead and go see all paint effects. And so there's lots of fun paint effects and I've kind of played with all of them at different times. I'm gonna go ahead, let's use this one at the bottom left-hand corner. It's Palo, that's the one I'm gonna go ahead and use today. So we're just gonna give it a cool look. If I hit the three little lines there, then I can sort of play with um, the settings and the controls here. So right now I've got it at low, kind of a medium intensity. I'm gonna give it a second. It does take a little bit of time and it's gonna give it this painted effect. Now it will put a background on here, so we will have to do a background removal again, but the background here is just solid, so it should be really easy to remove versus if you had a busy background, it may make it a little tougher to remove the background after you've done this. So that's just why I did it that way. And again, I can play with you know how intense you know, this style is. So I wasn't super fond of that, but that's how you can get more of a kind of painting or graphic look out of a photo. And I can bring it all the way down and just have my photo. So I'm gonna go, you know, somewhere in the middle. I wanna definitely give it a little bit of a different effect, but you now still a nice sort of mix between a photo and a painting there. So I'm gonna hit apply. And you'll have to play with all of these to see how they look. And some will look better with other designs or other photos. And so it really depends on what it is you're designing for. Um, so the best thing I can tell you is just, you know, play with all of your settings, play with everything. You know, take the time to really learn how it all works and what it all looks like. That way, when you go to make designs, you've got all of your options in front of you. So I spent a lot of time initially just sort of playing with everything. But there you go. And again, you can do some fun color mix stuff here too, by the way. I mean, if you really want it to be trippy. So like, for example, I could, I could start stacking some of these um, design styles so I can do the painting and then do the, you know, the color mix and just really make it look really trippy. Um, and so there's all sorts of ways that you can play with these, but I'm just going to stick with this. I am going to go ahead and do my background removal again, because I really just want the rooster's head. I just wanted him to have a little bit of a sort of more painted or graphic -y look than just a straight photo. So I'll give it a second and it should come nice and smooth. And there it is. It looks like it missed a little bit right there. And sometimes it's hard to tell on a dark background. So you can always just go ahead and hit this erase button and see if everything erased properly. If it didn't, you can erase it. If it did, then no problem, you're done. But it looks like it left in a little bit. So I'm just gonna clean up the edge just a little bit, get rid of some of these things that it looks like it just sort of left a little bit. So I don't want any of that. And perfect. So now it looks like it's nice and clean, nice good edges. I'm done there. So I'm gonna go ahead, go back. We can apply that. And now I've got my rooster head. Looks like it's pretty set. And so now I'm gonna be putting my little rooster head on top of sort of a vintage background again. Um, there has been, um, you know, controversy recently. I'm sure you've heard about um, Canva and what you can and can't do in terms of print on demand and using the various elements. You can't use them as standalones. Doing something like this where I did sort of the paint effects on it, I could now go ahead and use this. Not to mention the fact that we did do a background removal. So by itself, it's already different. But if you're using just some basic elements, it's really easy to just sort of stack the elements to make it your own. One way to do that is just to put some sort of a vintage sunset or background behind it and boom, now it's something new. And so that is always an easy option. So if I was to just do again, vintage sunsets, there are a ton of vintage sunsets. We're gonna go to graphics. And I've used a whole bunch of them before, but as you can see, tons and tons of vintage sunsets and you can always throw one of these behind any of the graphics 
and you know create your own design some of them are grunge some of them are smooth some of them allow you to change the colors which is nice so you've got all sorts of options there you do know there are a lot of circular ones and i've definitely used a lot of circular ones for this i want to do something a little bit different and i'm going to do one of these more rectangular ones so i do like this one here because it gives it a little bit of a different look which i like so i'm going to go ahead and make this fill the whole page as best as possible now I do like the way that it sort of fades out at the top. I think that's pretty cool. So I want it to fade out at the top. But see now the bottom gets cut off, no worries. I'm just gonna crop it up. Something like that is gonna look pretty cool. And I'm gonna go ahead and send it to back. So I'm hitting control in the left bracket and that's what's gonna send it to back. Then I'm going to take my little rooster. I'm going to make him nice and big. So there is my, my angry looking rooster dude. I'm gonna line him up with the bottom. And so you can kind of see the way that looks. And then I'm gonna put some text down here. I'm gonna make it funny. So the text that I am gonna put is going to say, um, I will peck you. <laughs> uh, perfect. I will peck you and so that I can see it I'm just going to change the text color up here by clicking this button I can pick any color I want you can see if I make it white you'll be able to see it hopefully if it doesn't glitch on me there sometimes it does so there's the white so that you can see it and so now you can kind of see the way that that will look. I am probably gonna go ahead and do this in all caps. So whenever I want it to be all caps, I can come up to the top where you see the little A and the big A. If I click that, it'll make it all cap locks there. And I'll readjust the size. Oops. Okay, so I have, I will peck you. Now I want this to be bold, I want it to be big. The more narrow font you pick, the bigger you will be able to make it. The wider the font you pick, the smaller you will have to make it to fit. So I want something that's gonna be narrow, but I want something that is also going to be bold. So I can put narrow, I can do a search for narrow, I can do a search for bold, anything like that. And I can come down and play with some of my options. This is another one where it helps for you to be familiar with your different options. So for example, this one is nice and narrow. So when I bring it up, whoop, just like that, there we go. You can see it's nice and big. I can see it, I can easily read it. It says, I will peck you. And now I can go ahead and change this maybe to match the colors here. So I kind of like that off white color that I see in the background here. I can go ahead and come up to where it says add a new color. I can use my eyedrop feature here. And if I hover anywhere over the design that I want, I can select a color right off the design. So I just picked this color right off of there. And there is my I will peck you design. And so it's a little bit different, it's funny. It gives it a little bit of a unique uh, look with the rooster here. And so that is always, you know, just a fun thing that you can play with. Um, again, this was really fast, really easy to make. I can make a lot of different versions of this. I don't have to use a rooster. I can use a chicken or anything else. And so there's just so many different ways I can go with this. Um, I did use sort of a vintage grunge style background. So if I wanted to, I could use more of a kind of grunge text in here. So lots of different, you know, design choices that you can make in different ways that you can make this your own. If you have any questions about this or about anything else, print on demand. Again, drop them in the comment section below. I do try to get back to it as quickly as I can. And be sure to check out my channel. So I've got up, God, I wanna say something like 130 videos now. And there's a good chance that if you're looking for something, there is actually already a video of it up on my channel. So if you go to my channel and you go ahead and just search through the videos, you may find what you're looking for already. I did start initially with just really easy step-by-step -step videos, initially starting with just how to do text and then how to do simple graphics. And I sort of, um, intended them initially to be watched in order as sort of progressing um, skill levels. Um, obviously now I'm just doing basic, you know, designs using everything that I've taught up until this point. But if you're really brand new and you're not quite sure 
you know what you're doing or you're getting a little bit left behind if you go all the way back to the very first videos it will kind of go over everything in a very very simple step-by-step -step sort of a method um, that being said caveat Canva has changed a lot of things since then so again if your page doesn't look like mine on any of those that would be why there have been a lot of changes made um, anyways hope you guys are doing good I uh, hope to see you guys again next week and keep designing, stay creative, okay? That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.